Hi again, here we are in Moron, that's the closest town to Cayo Coco. And we have a population of 64,000 something people. I know it seems to be a lot of people, but this is a small town and we have a lot of tiny, tiny neighborhoods around the, the city. So right now we are in Marti Park, that's the center in, in our town. And as you can see, we are here with uh, Marti Monument, which is one of the symbols in our country. As you can see, it's made in marble. And in this little town, basically, most of the young people, they will end up in this area at night. They will come here just to relax and have fun with some other friends. They're gonna listen to music. A lot of the, the parties that we do outside, like carnivals and stuff like that, take place in this area over here, most of it. And from here, we have that building over there, you see, 1927. Right now, it's working as the the cell phone companies of the city, but they used to, it used to be called the Red Salon. It was very important for the rich people in town to make big parties and it was a whole boom in that time. Most of our buildings are right here, as you can see in Main Street, all the houses, they cannot be touched because it's part of the history of the town. So you can paint it, you can fix it, but don't touch it because it's part of our history. And most of these houses are, have been built since the time that the city was uh, founded. And the first record we have from this city, like birth certificate, was in 1776, pretty much. And most of the inhabitants that came to this city, they come from Santo Espírito, which is another province. Not one of the oldest in our country, but it is one of the oldest. So here we go, we are in Marti Park, Marti Street. This is gonna be a little tour for the moment because we're gonna go now to the main train station, the biggest train station right here in Cuba, which is located in our town. As you can see, most of our buildings, they are pretty old and most of them need to be fixed. But to fix those buildings, it takes a lot of money and it takes a lot of time. You need the, the specialized people to get it done because it's not that simple, we just cannot put it down. We need to fix it just in the original way they used to be. And after the hurricane we had a couple of years, we're still recovering from it. It was a really big damage. All the north coast was hit by the hurricane, hotels, houses, everything. It was like pretty bad. And right now, all of the people, like most of the people that they ended up with our houses, they are getting houses already because the government take care of that. And they are repairing step by step every single place they can. Right here for the people that come from like tourists, you can find cars. We have little places here like this where you can get a car if you're coming as a tourist. And right over there, red and gray, that's one of the shops I don't know if you guys know, we have two kinds of coins in Cuba. We have the cook, the ones that most of the tourists are going to use, and we have the Cuban money. For us, luckily, Cubans, we can use both of them everywhere. Tourists, not like that, and <laughs> you're going to use pretty much the cook. And here we are. Not too busy outside, no, you're not going to find too many cars in Cuba. We use pretty much a lot of bicycles, scooters, and that's the main transportation way that we have. Right there in front we have Hotel Perla del Norte. It was found in 1925, which is pretty, pretty old, and the government has been making efforts to rebuild it. But as you can see, it has to be in the original way, so it's gonna take a little bit. All these places right here, as you realize, even this part, this part of the town, which is the train station, everything is from the beginning of the city, since the beginning of the town. And every couple of years, the government have to repair it over and over. 1923. Here we are again at the train station, and as you can see, the date, 1923. 
This place is one of the most visited by tourists because of the historical that it has, as you can see, it's completely done. It still has the same roof, they repair, but they keep the same way. They keep it completely natural, the floors and everything. The floors actually are made in granite. Since the beginning, they haven't touched the floors. They repair the roof, but they keep the most important parts of the building, even the inside, but I guess it's close. I know. Yeah, it's close. Sorry. We just came at the other side of the park and now we're gonna go to a little market. It's a souvenir market, it's all handmade. It's mostly visited by tourists. They wanna take something, a memory home. And you're gonna find all kind of stuff over here, made in wood. They work with wood, they work with sand, they work with seashells, they work with cow horns, with leather. But a good thing is, it's all handmade, and you can find a couple of pieces pretty much close, but you can find it unique as well. Nacia. It's just started because actually, too early today, it's almost night. In Cuba, we are not very, very tired that schedule. <laughs> Or the timing. Ah, Buenos días. Dime que venito acá. Sí. Hasta que quedemos okay. mejor. Okay, as you can see here, all these pieces right here are made in cow horn. They work one by one. They cannot do it in factories. All the things, as you can see here, they make pieces by pieces. She can explain you a little bit more about me because she knows about her work. <laughs> My third hand is still in development. Tell her. <laughs> she understanding it. She speaks English. She used to be entertainer. Of course. She used to be entertainer. Here we are. This is Agramonte Park. It's at the north part of our town. As you can see, there's a lot of people. They come here. And all people, mostly their age people, they come to this area in this time. They do some exercises. It's part of the government program. We have specialized uh, Trainer personnel, they come here and they help to do some exercises, stretch the body. Nobody pays anything from that because that's, uh, that's free. And this symbol right here, it's been here since the beginning of the town. This is one of the places that was founded at the beginning of this town as well. It's from uh, May 20, 1960. It talks about our heroes. So every hero that was involved, most of them, <clears throat> they were one of the leaders, all of the leaders, they are planted right here in this place. And that's where we keep the monument. And this little park over here, it's, it's like pretty much Marti Park because our town has three parks. The first one, it's at the Rooster where we started this morning. Then we have Marti Park and we have this park. And here in, our, in my town, it's where most of the people and young people come. They get together over here just to spend some time and chill out, as you will say. Here, most of the time, we have a Moron Theater Company. They have a, a big program and they work most of the time. Some days for the kids, and during the days, after 10, they start doing their job. Our modern theater company has a lot of them. Um, it's a, it's a well-known company here in Cuba. The, the work is absolutely unique. And the director of this company has all kinds of amazing ideas, which is good for our town, because everybody loves it. We go, they, this company goes all over the country. They go, Every time they have, there's a, something important, a festival or something, it doesn't matter, the province, they get an invitation and they end up in that place. As you can see in this area, no cars, it's just to relax and enjoy the park. Pretty quiet most of the time. Yep. <laughs> And that's the theater, right there. 
Buenos días. Uh, this is part of the costumes because some of them they have to be. Uh, we can see the actors, they are getting ready for the play in a few minutes. And here we are. It's in a small theater. And you see the decorations. We try to keep it all as like, much as we can. This is one of the symbols of the city as well. We are very, we care a lot about what we define as, about or what it's like typical Cuba, you know? So we try to keep it, and we try not to touch it too much. We just look after it and clean it and paint it, but we try not to ruin it. I know new is good, but in our case, we love to keep our history with us. And you can see, oh, we could see the, the picture right there, one of the plays that the, the company performs. That's a skirt, by the way. Huge, but it's a skirt. Right there. I think. So as you can see, they are getting ready to work now. Yeah. And one of the places they have it, so um, they got uh, Medea. The name of the, the the play is Medea de Bar. They talk. Yeah, it's pretty much about the Greeks, but they have all kind of uh, histories. What they do basically is they take a history and then they perform it in living status. A play could take about two hours, it depends on the history, and they're gonna move slow, slow. The movement is so slow that it's almost not perceptible. You have to pay attention. And the main actors, all of them, they are covered in like uh, mud, it's kind of red. It's the same material that you use to make the bricks. So now you don't understand what I'm talking about. So when they are playing, one of the, in one of those histories, you can see the tears of the actors. They don't talk. You're only gonna hear the story and they're gonna start moving, they're gonna take different positions. That, that's how they express the history. They won't talk, but some of them in some of the part, you could see them crying, which is beautiful. You will love it. I'm pretty sure about it. Actually, in a couple of days, these theater companies will have to move to another province because they are going to work in a festival. It's gonna be at the is part of the com uh, west part of the country and as I told you before they represent our town and the whole city like Ciego de Avila province actually they have a lot of uh, recommendations from all the, some of the workers actually are working in other countries because they get contracts because of the company everybody knows about this company and it's pretty nice Buenos dia. <laughs> And as you can see, I told you a couple of minutes ago, here we are. Our adults, they are doing their exercises in the morning. The lady who is in front of them, she is one of the qualified personnel. They come every day to help all the adults to work out the bodies and they don't have to pay anything. Here we have the Catholic Church. Every Sunday you can come here. There is Christians, tons of Christians every Sunday here. Very busy here on Sundays. They play the bell at six every single day. And Cuba religion has so well. We have a lot of religions here in Cuba, and Catholic and Yoruba are the strongest ones right here. There. Buenos dias. As you can see, everything inside the church still belongs to the beginning of the church. They don't touch much everything. People come here to pray. They come every Sunday. For the Christians, they can they do that, you know, the speech that like, it's like everywhere I guess. Most of the sand right here on the walls. These are the, the originals since the church opened. So as the bench. 
We haven't changed anything. We don't. We keep the, the old story. We keep all the story with us. We like to keep it. Right there, you can see we have the sense, and on the top, that's the shield that represents our country. Here we are. Most of the Cuban, we are Catholic by born. We get our Christian in very early age. This is pretty much the beginning of the town because if you're gonna come to Moron, you have to come through Ciego de Avila. We are located, Moron is located at the north part of the country. And we are trying to get to the symbol of the city, which is the rooster, as you can see. The funny thing about Moron is Moron was founded by one guy who came, who belongs, well, not belongs, he was a rich man, but he comes from the Spanish guys. And now that's why he decided to name this town Moron. There is a Moron in Spain as well. And another thing about it is that Moron means hill, small hills. And here you have the symbol of the city, the rooster. We used to have another one, but with the triumph of the revolution, it was taken down, it was break down because it was really bad for us. For us means that they were actually oppressing the whole people. So the new one we get, it was made by one of the most famous art, uh, plastic artists here in Cuba. And that's how we get the new one. And there is a joke about it, which is not, I can't explain in English. Kind of, it's comfortable. But it always says that it's singing to Ciego de Avila. That's the joke between Ciego and Moron. Ciego is another town and it's the province of uh, where we belong to here in Cuba. We are located, the province is located right almost at the half of the country. And here you are, it's made in bronze, completely. If you come to here, you have to come here, you have to take a picture with the rooster. And in this side we have uh, Hotel Moron, which is a city hotel, it's pretty much for people they are going to somewhere else. And here you got it, the three star hotels. But at the same time, if you're staying in the hotel, you can enjoy the city. Because when you're staying in Cayo Coco, you won't get this unless you come in a tour or something like that. You gotta take a taxi and come in town. Because Cayo Coco is an island who is connected to mainland. With mainland, that's what I'm gonna start calling Moron, which is the farthest, the northest town here in the island and we are connected by a crossway. They were putting together island after island by the road, that's how they connect Cayo Coco and Cayo Guillermo to mainland. And that's the only way to get here. So you have to come here by a tour or by taxi. I hope you like it and enjoy it because if you really want to know Cuba, you must come here. Hello again, we are at the Milk Lake here in town in Moron. It's one of the biggest lake all over Cuba. And this is one of the places that you can come and have fun or eat or drink if you want. But the good thing, we came before they opened. <laughs> There's also a, a nightclub in here. They got restaurants in here. And then they also have the nightclub at night. The nightclub works three times a week. And this works every day. They start with lunch and then they carry on until seven in the afternoon. They are preparing everything been raining lately and they are cleaning still. Most of the people come here just 
to spend a while, to drink, it's something that we call calenticos, which is very famous here in town. It's fried fish and it's amazing. And there is a lake. It's a salty lake, it's not a sweet lake. And um, a lot of people like to come over here because it's very natural. It's the fresh air, it's amazing. A lot of people like to fish in here too. You can fish and you can eat whatever you catch in here too. There is another restaurant over there, right there. The name is the fresh fish if we translate. And we have one more over there, right in the water. And the name is La Tarraya. And most of the locals spend the weekends in these areas right here. Because it's even if it's if it's out of the town, it's easy to get here. The access is very easy to get here and you can spend an amazing time with your family. This is for all the ages, so if you come here, that will be a good place for you to just chill out and have fun. How are we gonna get back? I don't know, you're in the middle of the water. Yeah, I see. <laughs>